Hello YouTube. Um, so I'm starting to think about how I'm going to finish this build for pistol and I've decided to try something um, on this that I haven't tried before and this will be to flush cut and reverse crown uh, the muzzle of the barrel. So this video is going to focus on that. Um, I'm showing you what I purchased from Brownells. This uh, kit has pretty much everything I would need. So I bought pilots for 45 and 9 millimeter. I bought a 45 um, degree chamfering uh, cutter or reverse crown cutter and uh, a 90 degree cutter uh, which I will use to reduce uh, the overall length of the barrel. Uh, it comes with a handle and like I mentioned already uh, pilots. I'm going to simply attach the handle to the cutter in this fashion and I'm going to put the pilot and secure it in place with the screw. So I've decided I'm going to start with the 90 degree cutter and I'm just going to reduce the length of the barrel to put the muzzle closer to um, to the bushing. Focusing on turning rather than pushing in. So because I imagine the quality of the muzzle is going to depend on basically going slowly and producing a good consistent cut rather than allowing it to chatter, uh, making deep cuts and so on and so forth. So. Okay, now I'm going to clean my cutter. So I've been going <coughs> with the slide actually off the frame. It's just easier that way. Um, but the reason why I originally wanted to have the slide put together is uh, we all know that the barrel when locked is basically uh, tilted about one degree in the front here. Uh, which means that when I start cutting close to the bushing I'm actually gonna start cutting the bushing on the bottom right and the reason why I wanted to do that is because I want everything to look very much uniform at the muzzle so when I start cutting into the bushing it'll give me a guideline uh, to how to file the bushing or the angle uh, at which to file the bushing down so <clears throat> that's kind of my plan uh, that that way, uh, when I'm perfectly, w when I cut my barrel back, uh, muzzle back, um, it'll be perfectly in line with the bushing and still be perfectly, perfectly perpendicular to the bore axis. So here's what I'm using: uh, my barrel slide bushing and spring plug, just to hold the bushing in place and uh, keeping my keeping my pilot and cutter clean so trying to do that free of shavings add some oil so here you can see my idea you see that I've touched the bushing on the bottom not yet on the top so I'll keep um, going at this until I touch the top and I know, I'll know at that point that my bushing and barrel are at the exact same uh, plane I guess at the muzzle. So here's the little update. Um, now I'm pretty much done with uh, the main cut and now I'm going to proceed to the 45 degree um, reverse crown 
and I'll go in a little bit further than the bushing so the bushing will get cut 45 degree as well and then I'll take care of this little step that I just made here by filing it down and polishing the bushing all together muzzle is going to be a little bit deeper so I'm not going to touch it and uh, I hope it will look uh, very uniform still a bit to go you can see on the top here where the barrel ends and where the bushing begins so a bit to go uh, I don't want any other barrel to be protruding or be um, on the same even level as the bushing so I'll have to cut it back until all of the barrel is inside the bushing here's the barrel and it just barely goes inside the bushing so I'm gonna get some uh, sandpaper and just lightly touch the outside to get rid of the burr and uh, make it not extremely sharp so here we go see how it's just inside the bushing so turned out pretty good I think um, once again I'm going to take care of this step uh, right here on the very bottom of the bushing that I've created but overall you can see it's not it's not a lot but pretty easy to do I was I thought that it was going to be a lot harder it just takes time uh, because you need to go slow here see that so all in all pretty good